In this iDraw tutorial for the iPad, I'm going to show you how to use the scale command in order to change the size of objects, how to create concentric shapes, which are shapes inside of shapes inside of shapes, and finally, how to center an object. The first thing that I'm going to do is find my circle tool. I'm going to go ahead and create a circle by dragging one finger and then adding a second finger to make sure that my circle is symmetrical. These numbers on the right hand side show you how many inches your object is. I'm going to let go of one finger then the other finger. In order to center this object, I'm going to highlight my circle with the arrow tool and then I'm going to go over to my arrange menu. The arrange menu is these two rectangles on the top right. When you click the arrange menu, you have several choices. You have a line left, which aligns it to the left, a line right, which aligns it to the right. What we're looking for, though, is a line horizontal and a line vertical. When you click a line horizontal, it centers your object horizontally, and a line vertical will align it vertically. When you click these two things, one after the other, it will center your object perfectly. The next thing that we're going to be looking for is the scale tool. The scale tool is on the left side of your toolbar and it looks like a rectangle with a smaller rectangle inside of it. The scale tool allows you to shrink an object by a set percentage. For example, if I want to shrink my circle by 75 percent, I enter 75 here and here and then I would click scale. My object has now shrank by 75 percent. On the other hand, if I want to create a smaller copy of this object, I'm going to click copy instead of scale. Now, when if I want this second copy to be perfectly centered, I'm going to go ahead and reselect it and I'm going to click the scale tool. Make sure that when you click the copy tool, if you want to have concentric shapes, Ensure that this little crosshair that is in orange right now, I'm going to go ahead and move it so you can see it better. This crosshair needs to be precisely at the center of your document so that you are able to create a concentric shape. This time, in, instead of hitting scale, I'm going to hit copy. When I do that, it creates a shape inside a shape, and I can keep going and going. If I go over to my layers and I open up my layers, you can now see that I have several copies of this object. This concludes my tutorial on how to create concentric shapes and how to center these shapes.